Good evening all. Hope we're having a beautiful, wonderful day. Surprise, surprise, I'm at the gym again. I had to work late and it's like it's after 10 p.m. right now. And I'm at the I'm at the gym. I just had to get out and do some exercise because I haven't been doing hills over the last few days and I feel it. I feel my body craving riding hills and I just like smashed out half an hour. I mean, it's not even that long, like half an hour of exercise is not really that long. But when you're thinking about only, you know, doing 10k a day and nothing else and not actually properly sweating during those 10k rides, like just get it and smash it out on a stationary bike. You can push a lot harder because it's stationary and you can just like max out the resistance and just go pedal as hard as you can. Like seriously, like I was just dripping and the freaking equipment is covered in sweat and I feel a little bit bad. But anyway, see that's what I'm talking about though. Like when you decide what you want to do, when you decide that this is it, like I'm going to make it happen no matter what it takes, no matter what I have to give up. And I'm not saying like give up sleep or well-being or whatever, but I'm just saying knowing your goal and also listening to your body as well, hey? Like I feel if I'm not exercising, like if I spent like a week doing nothing just but cycling as commuting, I would be like doing 50k a week and seriously that's absolutely not enough exercise whatsoever. Like. I, I feel it in my body, like my body craves that exercise, that sweatiness, that fitness, because you feel incredible afterwards, and I absolutely recommend it to everyone. But what I wanted to make this quick little video about today is I want to, where is it? It's, um, I want to read you a little bit from this book I'm reading at the moment, and um, the book is called This road I ride. I've showed it to you before in one of my previous videos. It's written by Juliana Boring. Boring. I'm not sure how to how to even say that, but it doesn't really, you know. Sorry, Juliana. <laughs> uh, forgive me that I don't know how to read your last name. Um, but anyway, it is just like, it's basically like it's written about her adventure cycling around the world and I'm just gonna... I'm just going to read you a little bit from it because I think it's amazing and it's very, very inspiring. So, um, doo -doo -doo -doo. I can see the attraction of biking. She talks about biking as a motorbiking. Um, the rush you get from speeding down an open road, even from touring aspect, is beating, is, even from a touring aspect, it beats being in a car, watching it all pass by from behind the glass, insulated from the sounds, the smells and the elements, like seeing the world on a TV screen. On a motorbike, there's no barriers between you and the environment. You can feel the wind, you can smell the smells, but you're still in fast forward, speeding you. You cannot possibly notice all of those small things. So if you're speeding by on a motorbike, you can't possibly like notice everything, but there is like a huge aspect of being on a motorbike and being on a bicycle, like just, you know, feeling and like being part of the world really, like not just watching it go by when you're in a car on a road trip. On a bicycle, you're inside the movie, an essential part of it. Completely re reliant upon your environment, you observe and absorb every sensation around you. You feel every change in terrain, the texture of the road, the direction of the wind, every ascent and descent. The constantly shifting weather. You smell every plant and flower, every rotting roadkill carcass. You hear every bird call, every insect and animal. You take in the country and the country takes you. Takes in you. If you really want to experience the world, get it on a bicycle. Like, seriously, th that's like exactly how I feel. Like, I love driving really. Like, I do enjoy driving. I don't really drive very much now because I don't have a car because I don't really need a car of my bike. But like when I had a car, I enjoyed driving and I enjoyed going to new places and seeing things and getting myself to, from A to B and feeling that independence and that freedom. But with a bicycle, you feel a lot more alive. You feel like you're really more in that adventure. You feel like you're just really part of it. Like, like she says, you're part of the world. You feel everything, every little bit of the road, every little, like, little wind, little smell. And 
time. Like seriously, you can even smell the rain coming. You can smell, you know, passing by a specific like plant that you never like seen before. You see like the birds, you actually notice, like you just notice so much and you see the world and you're more present in it. Like in this crazy wild world, when we're rushing around trying to get everything, trying to cover everything, get everything done, speedy, speedy, stressy, stressy. It is incredible what an hour, a couple of hours on a bike can do to you, to do, can do to your sanity, can do to your just inner well-being. Can you, it's just incredible because you're so focused and you're so in the moment because you have to be. Otherwise, you know, you're just going to freaking hit something and not notice a pothole or a rock and bad things can happen. So like you're so in the moment, but you also feel everything. Like when I ride my bike, I feel the road and I feel when road changes from like a perfectly smooth asphalt to little gravelly to little like this and that, like to little like gaps in the road to little pothole. Like, <laughs> It's just incredible, like being present, being there, and being out in the nature, and being part of that movie, not just watching it from behind the screen of a car. Whatever you do, try to go outside, try to be part of the world, not just watch it go by. Do something incredible, feel good, go and exercise, go drink water, and just seriously be happy, find your purpose, find your passions. Remember to stop counting calories and start counting hills. Count your adventures and count your passions. And this is why this is like my little catchphrase because like I feel like that's the message. That's like what I'm trying to perceive and tell you. Like go have the adventure. Go find your passion. Don't just sit around being bored and like complaining about dumb crap that no one even cares about. Like following like some celebrity or watching television. Like whatever. Whatever people do these days. Like it's just so much of it is just boring and unnecessary that like oh, just go out and get an adventure and tell me all about it or make videos and put links down below seriously do it okay thanks for watching another video i hope you enjoyed this one give us a subscribe or thumbs up or a comment and i'll see you in another video bye